So we just need to define and give some examples of embedded systems. So an embedded system is a special purpose computer encapsulated by a larger system, so surrounded by a larger system. And your normal laptop desktop computer is a non-embedded system. Traditionally, embedded systems only perform specific tasks relevant to their larger system and they can't be easily programmed. So unless you've manufactured it, you won't be able to really program it. I say traditional because people are starting to include to this category things like phones and also cameras are the two main examples. I, I, I don't really stick with this definition. I'm thinking or I'm talking about things like the devices that exist in smart devices like this is a microwave that has like toasting functions and like an oven function. Um, so it's more complicated and it needs its own kind of processor that exists within it. Modern cars have loads of different embedded systems that do all sorts of things. Each performs a very specific task and of course this is the larger system, the actual car and even like the braking system within the car has got its own embedded systems and you wouldn't be able to easily program any of these unless you kind of manufactured the car. You've also got embedded systems in hospital devices and also in a cockpit and a plane. These are all great examples of embedded systems.